Ladies and gentlemen, I am just Zach and I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. Mining Max, is it any fun? Well, to begin with, we have to answer the question, what even is Mining Max? Mining Max is a game where we dig, dig down deep into the earth with our mech to gain resources, minerals and such and acquire money with them by upgrades so that we can go even further down into the earth to rinse and repeat that cycle to mine more efficient, to dig deeper, to dig better and get all the minerals until we maybe, I don't know, reach the core of the earth. That's the premise. This game is available probably when I release this video, so check it out. Link is as always down in the description. For transparency as well, I did receive a free key for this, so please keep that in mind. But now, before we start, let's have a quick look at the settings menu. Frankly, there isn't much. It would be nice to have at least, re uh, at least resolution, you know, key bindings. We have keyboard. Uh, funnily enough, I'm playing this with a controller. This game does have full controller support. Listed at least a bunch of languages are there listed as well, but you know, this could be much. This is like the most basic stuff, especially considering we have multiplayer. We have two controller schemes. Would be nice to have key bindings or so, at the very least. Also, another very funny thing I found out. So when I record, I'm recording with OBS and I'm usually trying to record the game uh, dot exe the game program itself and funnily enough you know when i tap out of the game itself it looks like this you know it's not it's straight black screen but it's like part of it i've never seen that with a recording before doesn't have any value doesn't have any impact on my first impression here but i just found it interesting we, we also have three playable character we have hank aver and jack but i think these are only cosmetic let's go with i don't know jack because he has a top hat yeah let's go so I hope I selected him. And of course you can play this uh, up with up to seven friends, so eight player can play this together in mine. Um, well, the Earth together. I don't know where I'm going with this. There's achievements, but now let's actually host a single player match. I was almost close to saying, but let's do this, right? Start game. We don't have a world name because we just want to find out what this game truly is about. Welcome, kid. Thanks for making a way over here. Well, you're welcome. Oh, why to continue? Not A. Very interesting. I called for your help because we've been hearing weird noises coming from underground. We've been scanning the earth and we're detecting very strange activity. Weird noises and strange activity? You know I'll never stray away from an adventure. Count me in. I'm glad to hear that. I knew we could count on you. I haven't used a Mac in a while though. Can you help me getting started? Of course. Tap those left left keys to shimmy left and right. Fancy footwork, right? Okay, to move, fair enough. When you're ready to catch some air, hit A, show gravity use boss. Okay, to jump. Now, here's where it, uh, where it gets cozy. Jump onto your trusty mech to the right of here. Don't worry, we've installed some AC automatic comfort. Wait, but I need also, you know, like AC, which is air conditioner, very important. People in Australia, you like, uh, that is, uh, I don't know, as a German, maybe AC isn't that important. But people in Australia, man, these guys, they are all about AC. Like, without AC, they're not even interested in buying a car stuff like that uh, i don't know but <laughs> random <laughs> random trivia or experience i had in my life um i'm jumping onto my mac oh now it works okay it seems to be very precise precise there we go much bigger than i thought didn't think there'd be a toilet in here oh that's nice well don't be fooled that mac's seen better days rusty like an antique you should upgrade it when you get the chance or you know shop for a sleek new model Ooh, upgrade my wallet's flatter than a pancake well, shut your pancake hole and let's make some money then. Hold left to channel your inner mole and drill downwards to bury treasure. Well, there we go. And there we go with the drilling. Cool. Where's the bird treasure? Okay, how do I get out of here? Use left, right to drill left and right. Try drilling towards that juicy reserve left of you. Okay, I'm still pretty much... I can't really move because the game is just like, okay, follow my instruction to draw. I guess that's fair and fine. I'm the master of drilling now. Oh snap, look at you, jackpot. I'm starting to think you've got hidden talents, buddy. I mean, that's why you called me, right? Because I am actually pretty okay at digging. I thought that was the entire premise here. <laughs> why are you so surprised? You can keep on digging till your dirt storage or inventory is about to burst. When it's time to head back to the sunshine, hold left and soar like a champ. Fresh air waits. So, okay, we can fly. Cool. Just in time for a breath of fresh air. The toilet's playing hard to flush. Okay. I guess that's supposed to be funny. In case you need a breather from your Mac buddy, hold A to part ways. Okay, that's that button. Haha. Uh -huh. Give a nod to your left, that's the dirt pump. Toss your access dirt there and lighten your load. 
Got the goods? Well, the buyers on the right. Swing by, say hi, and make some moolah. And last but not least, don't forget to check in with me now and then to go over our next objectives. Got it, boss. I'll be on my way. There's a resource to be found. Okay, that's very straightforward. Okay, cool. So we have this guy, Dirt. Where do I see my inventory? Okay, okay I guess these are the bars, uh, bars at the top uh, left. One for Dirt, one for Minerals, and probably for other Minerals later on as well. Tracked. Well, hello. We'll take all your dirt and bury it for you. You'll bury my dirt? Yes, I'll dig a hole and bury it. What about the dirt you'll duck up, though? Dumb question. We'll bury it. Genius. Okay, well, we know where that is going. So, can we... It's interesting... Oh, there's already an invisible barrier. Okay, that's honestly a little bit sad. Okay. I mean, of course, I don't expect to explore the world in, in its whole entirety. But having an invisible wall here is very interesting and apparently we can fly up to 106, I don't know, meters. <laughs> and then the game is just like, what if we jump out of here? Let's go. Woohoo! Diving! We can really fly up a lot, right? Kind of sad that there wasn't up there. Okay. I don't... Okay. <laughs> and there's our mech. Okay, we don't get hurt at all. And apparently, look at that. Top left, we have an inventory, a bunch of items, bombs, pipes, drugs. Hell yeah. And a button. Oh, what's the red button about? Okay, so I can talk to you. I guess I'm supposed to jump back into my... Oh, man. Our, like, character movement is very floaty. Like, I jump and, yeah. It doesn't feel like we are actually on Earth, but more like in the depths of space. It's actually, I don't know. Feels not as responsive as it could be. I mean, this is just the character. This is not that important for the main gameplay, but would be nice if this would feel a bit better. I don't know. But it's kind of... It's kind of the same movement as with the robot, but the robot first of benefits because it can fly, and it seems to be faster as well. Okay, before I talk to you, I want to talk to this one. Interact. Good day. We'll exchange orts for cash. Awesome. You don't have to tell me twice. Why would I tell you twice? Uh, well, that's a saying. Didn't mean literally. Right. Well, anyways, we'll exchange orts us for cash. Now you're still... You know what? Never mind. Uh, I mean, the writing is trying to be funny. Let's just say it doesn't click with me here. I don't know. That's not my particular forty. this kind of style, but okay, it's fine. So we gained some cash. 200. There's another one. Can I talk to you? Hey, you. Nice mech you got there. Want to work together? Work together? I don't know about that. Last time someone asked me that I woke up in the next day without my left kidney. Aha, uh -huh, don't worry, I'm a fair businessman. You see, my trusty pump here can extract resources from mines. If you can help me uh, by connecting my pump to mine, I'll suck the resources right out. I'll sell them for you too and wire the revenue directly onto your account. You got me at revenue, let's go. That's the spirit. There's a mine southwest from here. Let's get that one first. But first we'll need to buy some stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. Cool. First, we'll need to extend the pipe vertically. Don't worry, I'll give you a 100% discount. Okay, how do I buy stuff now? Oh, just press A there. Okay, one. Secondly, we'll need a left-facing pipe to extend it horizontally. On oh, the house as well, of course. Okay, there we go. Awesome. We got what we need. All right. Can I end the dialogue now? Why? Now dig down towards the mine. I can smell those juicy resources already. Yeah, okay. Can I can, can I play the game, please? Oh, now I'm I'm in tutorial force mode again. Ah, uh, that would be so much I honestly think it would be so much cooler if you would actually allow me to do this yourself game instead of forcing me this exact route where I can do nothing else but just do this. Oh no, it seems there's a rock there. I can't drill through that. No worries. My old man always said if you can't drill it, blow it up. Here's a small bump. A bump? How do I use it? Select a bomb using LT and RT and use it with X. I do appreciate, however, that the tutorial message, uh, messages and all the messages in the game seem to be like, if I now switch keyboard and mouse and go for the next dialogue maybe or so, that seems to f uh, change on the fly, which I am a big fan of. And now I switch my control screen and if I now press Y to... Oh, use the bomb maybe? Again, tutorial is so locked in. Okay, it's that. Kaboom! Haha, <laughs> take that rock. That's how it's done. And we're now deep enough. Now we need to lead the pipe to the left. Select the left facing pipe using LT and RT and attach it to the main pipe using X. Again, I can't do anything else while I'm in this mode. I mean, I can't get out of my Mac, but then we're back in. 
So I guess I'm supposed to use this now. Awesome. Horizontal pipes extend automatically. Couldn't read that in time. And there we go. You've attached your first mine. You can leave the rest to me. See, so that money is already flowing into your account. Nice. Whew, and that wasn't even too hard. And I'm not missing any kidneys, I think. So what's next? Well, the more mines you attach, the more revenue I can generate for you. And if you upgrade the pump, you'll be able to extract resources at a higher pace from all mines attached. Cool. Got it. I better get going then. There are mines to be found. Detach pipe. Why would I do that? I mean, I can do it. Detach. I guess I just destroyed. No, let's not do that. So we now get a little bit of money. That's cool. Let's fly up. Can I keep talking to you? So we can buy more stuff. I can't upgrade the mine. Uh, the drill thingy here. Oh, there. No, wait. That is there. Top left. Upgrade cost 2,000. We could buy this pipe. Revenue 1. No, we bought this now for 100, which I didn't expect because the 100 is crossed in the middle. Which would expect me to say. I also can't select anything else. So I can't buy a left pipe, can't buy a right pipe. Ah, because I can't, uh, because I don't have the money, I suppose. But it's still a little bit distracting that I can still choose this one that I can buy for 100. But then again, it's crossed out, which is... Which, which frankly tells me in my book that I can't buy it, but apparently we can. Hmm. Okay, who are you about? I want to drill, but there's actually a bunch of characters here. I'm surprised. Wait, there's another one here? Because I want to spend my money. Okay, and again, a very boring invisible wall here. A little bit sad to see that. Okay, hey buddy, what's up, frog? Haha. -ha. Froggity frog. Must be hard running a shop without thumbs. Froggy. Good talk. Uh, yes, confetti. I want to buy some confetti. Ah, let's buy. I can't buy anything else. What's confetti about? Man, did you just do something with your tongue? I want to see that again. Mmm, <laughs> lickety like. That's kind of cool. Okay, I would like to use confetti. I'm pressing X. I have it selected. Oh. Why did it work now, not before? I'm gonna buy more confetti again. I'm wasting my money here. So yeah, there's some confetti that's cool. So I guess I can't use item if I'm close to an NPC, maybe? Now I'm going over here. Press X. Okay, now it works. Okay, we have a little bit of confetti, guys. I guess that's especially cool if you play multiplayer or so. Kind of nice. Would be nice if there would actually be a sound, you know? Like a typical party sound. But there's no sound for that. It's a little bit sad. There's a rope here. But it seems like that doesn't matter. But I do have some minerals. And it would be nice. Actually, I really miss this. And this tells me often how often I do not miss this in any game. And notice it. But here it's very noticeable. There's no sound effects for a robot when it moves, right? We have a little bit of a helicopter sound in the background. Very much helicopter. So that's nice, but would be nice if that had, you know, a little bit of an impact when we land, for example, when we jump. Like, poof, just to give it a little bit more oomph, you know. So far, it's very quiet, even though the background music is kind of chill and nice. What are you about? Welcome, I'm the best mechanic in town. Oh, wow, how many mechanics does this town have? One. Makes sense. Anyways, I can upgrade your mech for a bit of cash. Once upgraded, you can rebalance for free at any time. Sounds good. Okay, we can upgrade our drill power, flight speed, inventory size, dirt storage, and this is just the first mech. We can also get like a worm later on, a snake, a beetle, scorpion 60,000. That one looks so cool. A turtle, 120,000. A kangaroo. <laughs> All right. Rhino. Crane. That just looks like, I don't know, like a tube on a single wheel. Okay, we have a bunch of max here that we can buy. And I guess upgrade them even further, cause, or is that the limit? Does it mean we could upgrade the spider to the same drill power as the crane, for example? Hmm. How much does an upgrade cost? 500, we don't have that yet. Okay, I think we actually found everything. Oh, that's also, okay. Yeah. So if I'm like standing between two tiles, the game kind of locks us in into one, which I find a little bit sad, actually. But here we go, drilling down. So we have this unique material. That's the thing now. We can move again. Can I drill this? So apparently we can't drill stone because we had to blow that up, right? But we can drill pretty much all the other materials, it seems. There we go. Okay, that's another inventory item. So now we're pretty full. Where do I trade that in again? Was it with you? No. With this guy, right? Okay. We have one tin, two times trash, one copper, one cobalt, and this generates 522 money. And there's some coins here on the ground as well. 
now I can talk to you. I pressed the button. Oh, okay, and you automatically took the dirt. Got it. Cool. Why is this one glowing? Just telling me. I guess because that is something we can get, right? Okay, but I, what I want to do right now... Now the music is full step step. Why that? I want to buy the first upgrade. Let's do that real quick. Okay, wait. So that. Where's the upgrade guy? Wait, I forgot who the upgrade guy was. You, right? There we go. Okay, drill power, flight speed, inventory size, dirt, dirt. Maybe the drill power? I don't know. Let's go. How do I upgrade? Mech level? Upgrade. Oh, okay. That gives us an upgrade point that we can then spend here. Got it. Into drill power. It seems like we can always just, you know... Okay, we are not locked in. Oh, okay. No, wait. It's one point. Okay, this is how it works. So we need the upgrade points. And, for example, the spider can only get up to two drill power. Got it. And now we upgrade it by one. Okay, I understand that now. Let's get this stuff. Let's do one more drill run, and then I want to talk to our... Okay, yeah, okay, we can't drill through that, even with my upgraded drill power. Fair enough. What other items do I have? Pipes, bombs, red bomb, dynamite. I don't know. I assume you need capsule, a bomb button and of course some um, yee confetti <laughs> oh man i really miss the sound effect for the confetti and what why, why oh we are full on dirt so i can't drill further down there got it okay generate passive income that's nice if we're gonna run over here get the dirt oh we need to stay in range for the robot to grab us fair enough okay what can you say strange noises We've detected strange noises coming from around 50 meter depth. I would like you to investigate this. Strange noises, huh? Any idea what could it be? Not at all. We first detected the noises two months ago, but they've been getting louder ever since. Hmm, weird. I wonder what could it be. I'll dig to 50 meter depth to investigate. Patching up. Side quest. Okay, that's the main quest and we have two side quests. That's nice. Let's go. Silver shortage. Hey, kid. Want to make a little extra on the side? I heard there's a big shortage of silver at the moment. If you can get a batch of eight silver ores, we can sell them for double their usual worth. Only if you deliver them as one batch, though. Okay, fair enough. Don't know what silver is yet, but, well, guess we have to find that out. Patching up. First off, let's patch up that old mech, because we're not getting anywhere like this. Upgrade your mech to level three. Got your boss, I'll be on my way. Well, currently we're level two, and we want to go down to 50 meter, all right? So let's just drill straight down. Is that a rock? It is. Dang it. Okay. Uh, and on B, we can... Okay, we don't even need to walk back to him. We can actually just press B to, I don't know, via radio station or so to talk to him. That's kind of cool. Let's see. I guess this means... We only have the X and the Y axis. Would be nice if there would, it would actually be like an actual depth um, sign. Like telling me that this is 20 meters of depth. Oh man, we really need to upgrade our inventory. Because this... Or the dirt storage even more. Is this really oh, it's surprisingly hard to just hit this there we go again unfortunately the mech is very floaty not sure if it gets slower if he is full on dirt maybe maybe okay you get my stuff there we go am i supposed to pick this up yeah okay good to know so don't ignore that money there's another upgrade again 500 let's find out it's 750 now which we at least have and i guess i want to upgrade my dirt storage now okay might as well go down here Okay, 50 meter, right? Which I guess this means now 12, 13. Again, again the game is 100% clear about that, but that's our only Y axis, right? So it has to be that. Oh, and now we're full with the other stuff. No! Okay, but I want to drill down further. It's kind of sad that having played Wall World, and I'm, I usually don't try to make too many comparisons, and I don't want to be unfair. This is definitely a smaller budgeted game. But... In Wall World, I have to admit, like, digging was a little bit more satisfying. And we also had combat and so on. And this is satisfying so far. And, of course, we just started out. But, I mean, so far I can only drill left, right. Can we even drill up or something like that? Let's find out. No. At least not with this robot. Would be nice if that would. And it's essentially we are just getting locked in. Like, I'm pressing down now. And, and, I, and it's always one tile. I can't really stop drilling, like, in the midst of one of the tiles, so. It's, in, it's not like I can write some silly stuff in here and draw something stupid when I just go with my drill or so, which would be nice. It's always just one tile, and you're kind of locked in into that animation then. 
which I find a little bit sad, I have to admit. Because the groundwork is totally here so far. Like, I really enjoy... Uh, the idea is still cool, I enjoy this, and I'm still intrigued, but I am really missing a lot of ooms so far. Like, more juice, more sound effects. Make it feel good. No? Not just more visually appealing, a few more sound effects. But maybe I'm too critical. And we just started out. Okay, I'll see you guys once I actually manage to get to, down to 50 meters of depth. See you in a second. 50 meter depth. Did you find anything? Absolutely. I lost. Uh, I totally lost a chicken wing yesterday, but I just found it right under my seat. Yum. Uh, how is that possible? This is your first day at work. And this is the first time you went into this mag. Come on, dude. Get your head together, kid. I meant, did you find the cause of the strange noises? Uh, right, I knew that. Well, not really, no. Well, uh, here's a little cash bonus for your efforts anyways. Maybe get that mech cleaned. I can smell the chicken from up here. I'll have to recalibrate my equipment and try to locate the strange noises again. In the meantime, why don't you go ahead and keep digging towards 100 meter? Yes, sir, off I go. Also, I criticized this earlier, but there's actually, there actually is a sound when you move the mech. The thing is, because of the music, you can barely hear it. Like... I'm not sure if you guys can hear this. I'm gonna be quiet for a second and listen to it when I move the Mac. It's very quiet. And it's also like, it's more like a doot doot doot, I don't know, plop plop plop. It doesn't really feel like a heavy Mac or so, I don't know. But maybe I'm too critical. So there is a sound effect, but again, the music, we are playing this with the default setting. Music volume 50, effects volume 50. Maybe we want to wrap that up to get a little bit more oomph. I don't know. Well, that is slightly better, but also just ever so slightly. Okay, 50 meters. Now we want to go down to 100, but my sturt storage is full. And we also find this mine. So technically, I would like to connect that with the pipes, right? But for that, it seems like we really need, like, a lot of money. Anybody? And this, again, costs, like, 100 just for a extend pipe down. Left pipe, right pipe costs so much more. That would be quite an issue trying to reach that mine, but I guess that would be next the next goal to get some good money, right? Okay, I'm getting rid of the dirt right now. 1,600 money, or 1,700, actually. I guess drill down here further, but let's in get an upgrade instead. Oh, wait, I still have three things in my inventory. How did I not sell that? There we go. Okay, you just gotta wait a little bit of a second. So that it... Does this thing actually have an animation when it... Wait, I want to find this out. And there we go. So I want to pick this up. Is there like an animation when this thing actually grabs something out of our inventory? I mean, it moves left and right, but it would be cool if it would actually, you know, jank it out of our robot. Or our robot would just, I don't know, pew it out and something. Like, again, more oomph would be so nice. Okay, I get. I don't know. Let's get down here because this is the mine, and we probably want to stay close to it because we also want, of course, try to connect this, right? So let's play a little further ahead, shall we? One thing that actually is kind of cool when you upgrade the drill at the you know surface. And you buy a bunch of like, okay, move the drill further down. You can actually watch it extend further down, which is super cool. I enjoy that detail. It really adds like, okay, you're influencing the world. And so that's a great feeling. Regardless, I am down here at 53. I kind of tried to get to the mine here on the right side. Uh, I also found out it's kind of harsh if you want to try to just drill right. But then you have like just you know something that goes down you have no way so far maybe a bump to then drill up there to the top right or currently i also have no way to drill up because there's the mine so i actually have to keep in mind now we're at 55 so i have to manually maybe manually count maybe like 54 53 it seems like that mine is on 52 if i'm able to count correctly so i kind of as i have no way to go back up can i have to go over here Okay, 50. Problem is if I mine this. I am screwing myself over because I can't mine this now. And we want to mm, go over here. Like 51, 52 was it, right? This is where I would like to mine to the right. 
Maybe I need extra items. So what's my best guess? Like maybe from here, up in here, down here, and ex try to extend our potential upcoming mining shaft. Oh, I found one of these cyanide capsules. I have no idea what that does, so let's position here and do. Okay, we're blue now for 20 seconds. Okay, so it's like a drug so that we can apparently just drill more. Okay, that's cool. And we have a red bomb here. And I guess this is the treasure we need to find. Let's go. What did I find? A card. Awesome, I found a treasure map. Well done. Uh, now select it with LTRT and use it with X. Find the map to reach the treasure. I can smell the treasure already. Oh, no way. That's just a chicken wing under my seat I'm smelling. They really want to go with that, don't they? Can we drill this now with a power-up? No, we can't. Okay, fair enough. Okay, that's pressing X. Okay, well, this is like, okay, guiding us towards where we need to go. Okay, that's admittedly kind of cool. I enjoy that. Also gain some money. So the game really wants to try to push you forward, well, further down, of course, but also in interesting ways, which I definitely appreciate. But now we need to get rid of all our dirt again. So I bought a right pipe. First time to actually attach this properly. Let's see what happens. Attach the pipe. Does it... Okay, it seems to move more than just one tile to the right, which is actually so much better. I was afraid to, you know, needing buy like a bazillion pipes to the right. So this is our second mine that we're connecting now. And again, this is so cool. Would be nice to maybe have some sound effects, but again, that the, the pipe building is such a cool mechanic. So we have two mines now. We have connected this. Now we're gonna you now go all the way back up again. Oh, there we go. We also have our treasure chest. Or treasure map, sorry. So we have this now. And now we have a revenue because I also upgraded the pump to level 3 of 6 per, I don't know, second, I suppose. 1500 money. There's also the quest to get a new mech, but this also costs a lot. So I still would like to try out this treasure map. I kind of duck down, duck down quite a bit here. And I'm going to show you what I think is one of the kinder issues of the game. Which I'm not sure if there's a way to fix that or if that... Oh, there's the pipe, by the way. Which is actually trying to get out of here. Which I will see, uh, show you guys in a second. So I just ducked down here, followed the thing. Tried to pick up a bunch of money, minerals, if I could. And I managed to get down here. We also have this item. No, that's just some... Oh, there's dynamite to love. But there's also the treasure map, which still leads us further down... And to the right. Ooh, that could be it, actually. Is that the treasure? I think that's it. No, it's still not, apparently. Pretty sure the treasure map went further down. But we don't have the treasure map anymore. So I guess that's it after all. Even though I'm pretty sure when we clicked the treasure map, it went further down, didn't it? But we're pretty close to a depth of 100, so we might as well do that real quick. Plus we have dynamite, right? No, we don't. Ah! But it was there somewhere. Okay, we're 96, 97, 98. Let's go from one further down. We made it. Hey, boss, I made it to 100 meter depth. However, there's no sign of anything that could cause strange noises down here. Again? How is that possible? I'm confident my measurements were accurate this time. Whoa, what's happening? Okay, money. Ooh, the strange noise. There it is again. You must be close now. Now keep digging. Are you sure this is safe? What could be down there? I'm sure it will be fine. Besides, no one ever died from investigating strange underground noises in a mining mech, right? Solid argument. So, should we just mine a little bit further? Or does that actually mean we need to mine down to 100 or so right now? Follow the noise. It must be close now. Okay. I mean, that would be cool. I want to find out if there's like a Lovecraftian monster down here or something like that. That would be crazy, right? Okay, we are here. A little bit of screen check, maybe? But I do still don't see anything here. Regardless, now we need to find our, uh, our way back home. And of course, we can't really dig much and we can't dig up, so we kind of have to find this mineshaft. And now imagine if you we, like drill down a bunch of mineshafts left, right, but maybe with only one exit down or so. You could get lost in here, and I don't think you have any way to really navigate or, you know, highlight the way with a torch or something. So I'm kind of going up and that should work, but it also takes a lot of time because of course I'm not digging straight down. Oh, we do have dynamite, look at that. Maybe I get it from the quest. 
Now we have to go all this way here and bumping our head time and time again. So this takes a surprising long time. Which would be nice if that would be... Oh, take my dirt. There we go. Why did that take so much? But now we can also give you some stuff. And I think the next Mac costs like 7,500 and you gave me so much more. Why that? I should have paid attention to the recipe, but I'll take it. Thank you. This mine also going strong. We could upgrade it. Financially, probably the better choice, but we want to do this. So if we could upgrade our mech further, but the game is already like, no, don't upgrade it. It's a waste of money. Go with the worm. Oh, we're kind of close to 15,000, but yeah, let's go with the worm. Purchase a bit of uh, empty, quiet confetti there. Let's select the worm. <laughs> We can upgrade it for 500 and there we go. This is, I haven't upgraded this, but this is our new Mac. I saw you brought yourself a shiny new Mac. Yeah, absolutely, it has two cup holders. Right, anyways, as you might have noticed, your new Mac won't be of any use without upgrades. Here's a little cash for you to upgrade it and get it up to power the old one. Awesome, thanks boss. That's quite a lot of money, 5,000. Well, that's fine. Okay, upgrade, one, two, three, might as well spend everything. So we're level five, that's nice. Three times drill power. We have two more, I guess, dirt storage and inventory size. And now, this one looks kind of cool. And look at this, when we use the helicopter here, it actually has this animation. That, I want to see more of that, that's so cool. That's kind of bouncing there. Now we're even better drilling, I suppose, slightly. Yeah, this one has a lot of charisma, I love that, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna try to go a little bit further down to the noises, but I also kind of forgot, I think this is my mining shaft that I need to do. Also, you have a new th stuff, Rilgar Shortage. Okay, new quest, it's fine, but I right now would like to find my way back down here again and try to dig down just a little bit further. Let's see if we actually are as close to the noise as the game suggests and I still hope that I'm in the right mineshaft right now because otherwise that would be a little bit sad and I would be frustrated. There's another thing again this game offers you to play in multiplayer with up to eight people and that's kind of cool but so far that's just you know you can play with friends it's the same experience but with more people and of course everything is more fun with friends but it doesn't seem to incorporate multiplayer really like on a mechanical level it doesn't seem like we have confetti which is a little bit fun i guess if you can use that when there's friends nearby but it doesn't seem like you can really you know there's no where, where's the mechanical thing what differentiates yourself with your teammates everyone can have the same max or different ones but they only have like more stat increases right it's not like this one is particularly good at blowing up stuff this one fights the lovecraft monster very well so you are protecting us while we mine down or so just the same game play but more people and of course that is fun but i don't see any real mechanical incentive to well actually play together which i found uh, find a little bit sad honestly it's cool that you can play with friends but what is my benefit friends instead of just playing with friends you know make it mechanically interesting uh, let me play let me help my friends in a particular way that is unique to multiplayer or let me actually kind of hinder them and combat them but i would say just and as no tiles regenerate here people would just you know make everything uh that's how i would play with my friends you know we would literally just mine down every single tile here that it's all just a big you know like in the background hole so to speak i still haven't found the noise though i really wonder should i go further down to 150 or are we gonna find something don't have a like any indicator of what the place uh, which direction I need to go on oh, now dirt search and now again we have to kind of carefully navigate all the way back here I have dynamite I want to try out dynamite okay that's kind of cool more like neck shake a little bit bomberman this was a stud buff the cyanide capsule I don't know what this is I think a teleporter if I recall this correctly from the trailer where the pipes are for the quiet confetti and we have two different bombs the red bomb is literally just the normal bomb but i think with a one tile more radius increase or something like that nothing else okay go higher here and let's try to find the way back up and then do back down again and i'm gonna try to go to a depth of 150 meter and see if that helps okay i'll see you guys in a second we're um, oh god still 30 meters down we need to get a 
It's take a while to get back up. It really does. Hey, boss. I'm at 200 meter depth, but there's still no sign of anything here. I'm starting to think we might have lost it. Not possible. I'm 100% certain those sounds came from here. Wait, what's this red blinking light on my dashboard? Looks like a distress signal and an incoming transmission. Anyone, please. The connection is breaking up. Please repeat yourself. Help! Damn, we've lost connection. It sounded like someone is seri in serious trouble. I've tracked the distress signal and it looks like it's coming from around 400 meters of depth. Good job, boss. I'm on my way. Who barely made it here with my current upgrades. I am dreading frankly the way to go back up with like 200 meters because I dug down like you know trying to work with the pathway here but we're gonna bump our heads a lot and then I gotta find the same way back down to dig down further I guess the game kind of wants you to you know not go all the way down but also you know try to find more mines um, get your resource up more economy you know upgrade your pump and stuff and that's intriguing but yeah, that is mining max, so to speak, ladies and gentlemen. Is it any fun? Frankly, yes. I played this now for almost exactly one hour. But this, frankly, also reminds me of uh, one of these games. Oh, there's also an unstack button. Interesting. Oh, I can't select anything in the main. Oh, there we go. Now we can. Save and quit. Mining max. Is it fun? Yes, I played this one hour. But frankly, this also reminds me on one of these Flash games back on, like, I don't know armor games, new grounds and so that you, you know, when you're bored or at school you pick up and you play this for like an hour or two and then hey that's kind of nice and then you never pick it up again. I don't want to be too mean and this is probably a project just by a single person. I do like that there's multiplayer. I would love it if, you know, there's also a mechanical difference and incentive to really go multiplayer to do some weird and funny stuff, you know. The core gameplay loop is interesting and intriguing. But it's also just digging down further, digging left, digging right, not even be able to dig up. We have a few bombs, but also there it lacks oomph. So, I mean, dear, I think it's fair and fine enough. And for a game to pick up, this is no, not the worst one. It f functions, but I would say this game still it feels like an early access, more or less. If you would now say this is early access and we're going to add a lot more features and way more polish, then I would say this is a good foundation. And I hope this it makes sense and uh, of me what I'm trying to say. But of course, I'm only one person and the question still is, is this any fun? And you guys need to answer this as well. Please tell me, is this any fun, this game to you? From what you've seen, maybe you played it yourself. Is this video that I not delivered here that you've watched any fun? Please be critical about that as well. Feedback is always greatly appreciated. Stay awesome and we see you